Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Jeff Ito, and today I'm going to be doing a brand new tutorial video as I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Project M for Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And before we go ahead and start, I want to discuss something. We're going to be doing this with the Homebrew channel. So, if you don't know what Homebrew is or Project M is, I'll be sure to tell you. Homebrew is a fan-made application for gamers that allows you to emulate non-Nintendo games on the Wii, like the PlayStation, Atari, or Sega Genesis. And it's also used for installing mods, like Project M, like we're doing right now. And Project M is a fan-made mod for Super Smash Bros. Brawl, created by the Smash community that enhances the aspect of Brawl's gameplay inspired by Melee. And it's programmed and designed to add rich and technical gameplay to a more balanced environment while additionally enhancing the speed of action, making more usable competitive play and especially Smash tournaments and esports. And that's why the controls for a brawl is kind of jank. And nobody even uses the original you know, brawl features anymore. That's why they use some PM in esports. And if you really want to try out PM, you might be wondering, how do I install it? Well, that's what we're going to do for today's video. And if you guys are interested of this video then please stick around to the end because we're going to do a hands-on learning session and uh, before we go ahead and start I want to give you guys a heads up and a warning if this is your first time ever installing mods or creating mods please be aware you have to know how to work with computers properly knowing file types file sizes plus the memory units like your SD card or your USB and you need to have the following requirements for the hardware and software in order to complete the process and I just want to point out please take full responsibility of your own computer or video game console if something bad happens to it the responsibility is not mine so please mod at your own risk but I shall rest assure you guys that it's 100% safe from all viruses approved by certified antivirus companies like McAfee and Norton. It's 100% safe, plus it's free to download and should not be too difficult. And this probably takes about 5 to 10 minutes max. And if you have any questions at all, Please leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any questions regarding, like, um, for example, if you're using the USB or micro SDHC, what type of program do I need to reformat it? Well, you're going to need to install the MIDI tool partitioning wizard. I'll explain that later. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoy. And without any further ado, let's get into this. So, what do you need to install Project M? So, you're going to install Project M by using these following hardware requirements. So, what you're going to need is a Nintendo Wii console, a physical copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, 2 gigabytes of an SD card, at least 2 gigabytes. And you're going to need a computer, Mac, or PC with an SD card reader. For the software, you're going to have to install the Homebrew channel, which is right here, as the video link is shown in the description. And you're going to need to install zipping and unzipping programs. For Windows users, Zevenzip, WinZip, or WinRAR. And I should probably explain 7-Zip. It's really easy and it's free to use while WinZip and RimRAR you actually need to pay for it. And Mac OS users, you can either try zipping the files by default or you can try using iZip or WinZip Mac Edition, whichever works for you. 
And as I stated before, micro SD cards, SDHC, a special USB, you need to download Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I'm also going to give a video link in the description. And I just want to point out some notations. I forgot to do that earlier. You might have seen this slide before, but when booting up the Wii U, please be very careful. Don't go to Wii U mode. Please be sure to boot up the Wii U on Wii mode before inserting your SD card. Otherwise, the mod will be accidentally deleted. And don't use a Wii Mini, because unfortunately you will not allow to have any any access. Like the SD card port, internet, GameCube support, games, memory card, controller for the GameCube, component video, or USB. The Wii Mini sucks. Okay, it, it sucks so badly. That's why using a regular Wii console or Wii U is best. Alright, so let's go ahead and start right now. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're about to go ahead and start, and I hope we're following along. So, step one, you want to go to Chrome, and then you're going to search Project M Download. And the first thing you're going to see is this link. So, right-click and then go to New Tab, and this will open this page. Then I want you to get to scroll all the way down to this part right here. And then you should see these two versions, Hackless and Homebrew. For this version, we're going to be doing Homebrew. So, right click, open a new tab, and this should give you a warning for virus scan. I promise you it's 100% safe from all viruses, okay? So, just click on download anyway, and once you click it, it will ask you to save under downloads on Windows' File Explorer. Or if you're using Mac, it may ask you to use it on Finder. Hit save, and then let it download until it's done. I already have it, so this should be just fine. And once it's down downloading, and you should have the zip file installed, so don't forget to X out the website page. But don't close out the browser yet, because you might need to install the zipping application if you don't have it already installed or built in. So let's just say for Windows users, I say what the most easiest one is 7-zip. It's the most easiest one to recommend, and with 7-zip, you can actually zip the file without ever having to pay for it. I tried it out myself, and it worked. Unlike WinZip and WinRAR, you actually have to pay for it. And for Mac users, you can actually uh, try zipping the file yourself without any additional zipping applications that you have to pay for. If you don't know how to do that, here's this website right here. I'm gonna check out this website. I'm gonna put in the link in the description. So I'll go ahead and read about it. All right. So once you have the file uh, installed, I'm gonna go to downloads. Once you have it finally installed, what you're gonna do next is right-click it. Then you're going to see. These options. If you have WinZip or WinRAR, it may tell you to extract here. For this method, I'm using 7-Zip, and you want to extract here. Then it will create a new folder, as you can see right here, while extracting the content from the zip file, meaning everything. And you see this. This is extracting everything, so whatever is right there is extracting. So wait for it to completely done extract, and then the file shall be full by now. And for Mac users, if it does not work, then there's an alternative. You can right click on the zip package and then open in 
archive utility, which is another way to open you know, another zip file. And so, this is the part where we need to get an SD card. Because as you can see here, we're going to copy and paste everything to the root of the SD card. So, what you're going to do is, you want to grab out your SD card, like I said before, 2 gigs at least. And then, you are going to put it inside of the reader slot, and then you should see this. I already have this in it, so what you're going to do is you're going to, here I'll show you. Go here and then you want to highlight this and you're going to copy it to the root of your SD card. Click location and it should tell you right here. So go ahead and do that. I already have it so don't worry. As you can see right here, I already have it. And that seems about it. And once you're done, safely eject the card, and then you are good to go. So that's basically everything how to install this mod. And I really hope you guys will learn how to do it successfully, and I really hope you guys find it helpful. Okay, so now you should see the homebrew channel, which is actually right there. And if you don't know how to install it, I'm going to send you guys the video link in the description. Alright, so next thing you're going to do is first you're going to launch Brawl. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Vault and then you're going to go to Stage Builder. And I should probably tell you, you need to delete all of the stages from Stage Builder. Because as you can see, I don't have anything in it. Just because you delete all of the Stage Builders and you can't delete all the, the pre-made custom ones does not mean it's not going to work. So once you start a new save file, it will automatically have the three pre-made custom stages. I need you to delete those as well, or else it's not going to work. It's the same way how you do it for Hackless, except that you need to have the homebrew installed. So as you can see, since I'm doing the homebrew, I won't be doing it Hacklessly. Now let's go to the homebrew channel. And like I said, if you don't know how to install it, I'm going to give you guys a link in the description. So now you should see that the mod itself is installed on your SD card, meaning it works. And as you can see here, a copy of Smash is required in order to do this. So let's go ahead and test it out now. Yes, it works. Just exactly like it. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm going to also give the credit to, uh, to the, uh, the, um, the resources linked in the description. And I'll see you guys again on the next Tech Guide video if I ever get to do another Tech Guide video. Oh, and uh, if you guys want me to go back and... Um, do a little match on PM. Let me know and I'll be sure to do it on Jason Plays. Thanks again and a lot. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Alright. And lastly, here are the credits. Okay, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Have a good day. Make sure you subscribe to my other channels. Which are right here. Which is in the description as well. Bye.